The Fundamentals of Business by Michael Scott. Over one billion sold. More than the Bible, I'm not surprised. Chapter one. The Businessman So listen, Michael, your branch has been doing great lately, and your sales staff is reporting very strong numbers. Outperforming last year, in fact. Um, and I don't know exactly how to put this, but what are you doing right? Right what? Utica, Albany, all the other branches are struggling, but your branch is reporting strong numbers. Look, you're not our most traditional guy, but clearly something you are doing is right. And I just, I need to get a sense of what that is. Ryan's about to attend the Michael Scott School of Business. I'm like Mr. Miyagi and Yoda rolled into one. Much advice you seek. Do you know who that is? Fozzie Bear. Mm, no. Yoda. The fundamentals of business. The fundamentals of business. Mental is a part of the word. I have underlined it. Because you're mental, if you don't have a good time, you have to enjoy it. You know, the, the fun is in it. <laughs> fundamental. Oh, right. <laughs> Get out. I know, I know. In nature, there's something called the food chain. It is where the shark eats the little shark and the little shark eats the littler shark, and so on and so on and so on, until you get down to the single cell shark. So now, replace sharks with paper companies, and that is all you need to know about business. There are 10 rules of business that you need to learn. Number one, you need to play to win, but you also have to win to play. Got it. And I will give you the, the rest of the 10 at lunch. David, here it is. My philosophy is basically this, and this is something that I live by, and I always have, and I always will. Don't ever, for any reason, do anything to anyone, for any reason, ever, no matter what, no matter where, or who or who you are with or or where you are going or or where you've been ever for any reason whatsoever sometimes I'll start a sentence and I don't even know where it's going I just hope I find it along the way like an improv conversation an improvisation Oh my God. Oh no, that is so awful. That is the worst news. I have to go, I have to do a presentation. I'll talk to you. This is going to be hard for me to speak today because I just learned that my father has died. No, he didn't. He is alive. And this isn't even a cell phone. This is a calculator, but you bought it. And now you can't return it. Or can you? No, you can't. Yes. Karen, do you need to go pump? I'm not going to have to do that until after I have the baby. No, I'm wondering what are you talking about? I am talking about how you all need to sell an experience. Like, I sold you on the idea that my father had died. But now we think you're a liar. Would a liar bring Minnie Mounds bars? Sabre says it is our duty to support the sales team and the salesmen are letting it go to their heads. I think it's kind of screwed up because the way this place used to work was make friends first, make sales second, make love third, in no particular order. Another rule of business is being able to adapt to different situations. Yeah? Adapt, react, readapt, apt. Right? That's rule number two. May I borrow someone's textbook Please, thank you.
What have we here? Ooh, economics. Very, very interesting. You cannot learn from books. Replace these pages with life lessons, and then you will have a book that is worth its weight in gold. I know these are expensive, um, but the lesson is priceless. Good. I would like to give you the only copy of Somehow I Manage, unfinished. Huh. If there's anybody here who can finish it, it's you. <laughs> That's sweet, Mike. Let's see here. Here's a chapter called Gum, mm. with one sentence. Everybody likes the guy who offers them a stick of gum. Mm hmm that's true. Sometimes you have to take a break from being the kind of boss that's always trying to teach people things. Sometimes you have to just be the boss of dancing. Everyone always wants new things. Everybody likes new inventions, new technology. People will never be replaced by machines. In the end, life and business are about human connections. And computers are about trying to murder you in a lake. And to me, the choice is easy. Rule number four in business, image is everything. Andre Agassi. This car is an investment, right? If I uh, have to take out a client or I'm seen around Scranton in it, I love it. I love this car. Do you like it? Yeah. Why? Why did I write these things? They all start with the letter M. No, I've written these things because it is my responsibility as manager of this branch to profiligate great ideas. And I think I have done my part with the golden ticket promotion. Now it is your turn. I want to hear some great ideas from you that are just as good as mine. Mm -hmm. We own our own delivery trucks. Mm -hmm. We could lease them out on the weekends. Too many words. Lose. Good ideas are simple. Golden ticket. Free paper. No, Jim, we're a business. Post its. That is a golden ticket idea. NASA took five or six golden ticket ideas to get men on the moon. Nobody should have to go to work thinking, oh, this is the place that I might die today. That's what a hospital is for. An office is for not dying. An office is a place to live life to the fullest, to the max, to... An office is a place where dreams come true. I did not go to business school. You know who else didn't go to business school? LeBron James, Tracy McGrady, Kobe Bryant. They went right from high school to the NBA, so. So it's not the same thing at all.